In this video, we are going to see a new feature of c 12 and that is collection expressions. Basically, they will allow us to work with expressions in a very simple manner. For example, now we can say something like the following. I can say int array, let's call it numbers, and I can use this notation, one, two, and three. And although in the past, we were able to do something like this, we were able to say something like this, which is very similar, at least in a structure, the difference is that with this new syntax, we are going to be able to use new operators, like the spread operator, which we will see in just a moment. For now, let's continue. I can use this notation not only for arrays, but also for lists. For example, let's say list a string names, and I can say Felipe, Gloria, and Robert, and there is no problem with that. Also, I can create a jag array. For example, I can say jag array, jagged, and I will say one, two, three. And please notice that I am putting an array inside of an array because a jag array is an array whose elements are other arrays. Here I can put another array like four, five, six, seven. And also I can do the same here, eight and nine. So this is an example of a jagged array. Also, I can create a jag array from individual arrays. For example, let me say new array numbers two, and I'll just put this from here to here, and then int numbers three, and I will just put this from here to here, semicolon. And now I can create a new jag array. Let's say jag two, and I can say our new notation numbers numbers two and numbers three. These two jag arrays are equivalent. They have the same elements. Also, as I was mentioning before, we can use new operators when using this notation, like the spread operator, for example. What if I want to create a new array whose elements are going to be the elements of the arrays numbers, numbers two and numbers three? That is, we want a new array which will have the numbers from one to nine. For that, we can do the following. We can say int array numbers four equal to, and I can say our notation dot dot, which is the spread operator numbers, then dot dot numbers two, and finally a spread operator numbers three. And with this, we have a new array with elements that goes from one to nine. This is not something that we can do using this notation that we have here. If I try to do it, I'm going to get an error. If I try to say numbers five, and I try to do something like this, dot dot numbers, we're going to see that we're going to get an error, as we can see here, that this doesn't compile. So as you can see here, this is a reason to use this new notation and not this one. Though, by the way, this is just a simple concatenation operation, so this is equivalent to saying numbers concat equal to, and I can say numbers concat numbers two dot concat numbers three dot two array. They are the same, they do the same thing, but this one is more abbreviated. So as you can see, we can use collection expressions to handle collections in a new manner in C Sharp 12.